So I think what's important to note is that um, careers are not, you know, created overnight. So uh, careers are a marathon and not a sprint. And uh, what I personally observed, you know, throughout my career, going from, you know, an academician to department chair to university dean, is that there's always a red thread in your life, you know. And if you recognize, you know, what is your calling and, uh, you know, what is, uh, you know, where you want to be eventually, I think is really important to know and also how you structure and how you, uh, you know, pursue your career over a long time period. There are a lot of distractors out there that try to yeah. get you in this direction or this direction. And uh, I always found myself bouncing back to that, red line, you know, that I'm pursuing here for my entire life. And honestly, I can, uh, you know, uh, summarize, you know, my goal is to help people, you know, and that's what you do as a physician, either, you know, as a doctor, as a uh, administrator, in the end, it all boils down to the patient. And uh, that's really where I would like to, uh, you know, narrow down, uh, you know, what we do and who we are. Uh, if you don't help patients, if you don't help your community to prosper, or if you don't help your university, I think you're just not doing your job. So I think that, you know, aspects of, in, in terms of careers change over time. In the beginning, it's about you and how can I excel. Mm -hmm. But in it, you will come to that point, and I think the earlier the point uh, comes, the better you are off. How can I give back? You know, how can I do something for others? And I always found that if you're unselfish and if you are not just, you know, working on your own career, I think you will get much more reward out of this.